Greetings, everybody, wherever you may be, and welcome again to Kuru, the home of the Ariane family, for today's live broadcast of Ariane Space Flight number 214. We're into the final 60 seconds. I was saying the people outside, there are two terraces here. And uh, you get a fine view as Ariane lifts off. All that's left to explain, Claude, the final ignition sequence. What are we going to see? So at H0, the DDCO calls out Allumage Vulcan. Allumage is ignition, and Vulcan is the name of the engine. That is main stage ignition. But we do not lift out yet. Uh, in fact, there will be a seven second wait for seven full seconds, the computers and checking the performance of the main engine as it is functioning and checking it on the pad. Because once it's, li it's lift off, it is too late for to fix a problem after that. We're going to cut away. We'll let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final countdown. Enjoy the launch, watch the engines, and we'll be back. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage Vulcan. Allumage EAP, décollage. Through the clouds she goes at 1654 local and right on time. Ariane 5 La beginning her mission. Lifting off perfectly from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire. Beginning her third mission of the year. The DDO is saying that all is okay on board. These Les beautiful shots. Always impressive for the people on the observation sites here at the base, in their cars or on the beaches, watching Ariane rising into the sky, leaving a trail of gold. And uh, we are La about 15 kilometers from the launch pad. And normal. even here, you can still feel the sensation of launch. But if you're watching from the closest viewing station, which is only five kilometers away, you can really experience the sensation of the acoustic noise from those two boosters. They are providing 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along this trajectory and even higher velocity. A launch is something quite sensational to witness. Also impressive is the 780 tons that Ariane's weight is at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel per second, two and a half tons in each booster, and the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. She's following the program in the onboard computer, which is giving all the orders. We're in the first of four, four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn so you can follow Ariane. Right now is the first flight phase, the core engine burning in the, in the uh, in the uh, main engine and the two boosters. The boosters go are going to extinguish right now. You can see them happening. Those are the two points of orange light on either side, and the white light in the middle is the core stage continuing to burn. All right, all is functioning perfectly on board. We're into the second flight phase. The single core stage engines burning right now and burn for about nine minutes in all. It is still a moment of very high concentration. Now, now you've gone through this before. What's the mood like usually down there among the technical people and the customers uh, one minute before separation? So, you Less know, as minute. soon as the first satellite has been separated, 
uh, it seems as already at work in the first operation. In such three teams are still very concentrated and will be uh, anti-separation has been confirmed. And that separation should be confirmed in just a few short seconds. You'll be hearing the DDO. Separation du satellite INSAT 3D. Well done. And right on target, this was done at 2,152 kilometers altitude. So from the tense minutes just moments ago, you see the change here in Jupiter. Very buoyant, hats on the back, all across the Space Center and all at the points and posts where people are working or following the launcher and the satellite. Work just beginning, or soon will be, at the different ground stations for INSAT and at other sites around the world where the satellite's first maneuvers AlphaSat will indeed increase Inmarsat's capabilities to deliver mobile data and voice services via satellite with enhanced flexibility to better meet the peak demands observed in disaster management on humanitarian, humanitarian crises. Inmarsat, who are based in London, who have spearheaded this program with such great skill. AlphaSat now sails across over Africa to deliver an incredible array of innovative services and solutions for a part of the world that is relatively unconnected and has great need of those solutions and we in Masat will be very proud to deliver those for the next 25 years. And for in Marsat this is the start of operations and exploitation of this new satellite which is and I quote uh, Rupert as he said this morning AlphaSat is the most powerful, the most flexible, and the most efficient satellite for com mobile communications. Thank you for that uh, quote, and I shall use it again. Here's the replays.